Hi everybody, welcome to my maths video tutorial. I'm calling this one Maths Tricks because factorising quadratics is very, very useful for all sorts of different maths, whatever course you're doing. So whether that be GCSE, A-level, you name it, you may have to factorise something that looks like this. Now this quadratic is more difficult to factorise because of this number two here. Okay. There's a lot of different ways that you can learn to factorise a quadratic with a coefficient in front of the x squared term that isn't just one, okay? like we have a two here. The method that I'm going to show you is probably different to what you've seen before, but it's by far my favourite method that I know. Okay? So, in this method, you start off with two brackets, we know a quadratic is hopefully going to go into two brackets. And we put, because it's 2x squared, the method says put 2 in front of the x in both brackets. Okay? If that was a 7, you'd put a 7 here, a 7 here. So whatever the number is, you put it in front of x. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, I've seen the banana method video. If I multiply this out, we're actually going to get 4x squared. We don't want 4x squared, we want 2x squared. So this is a problem. Okay, so the method gets around that problem by saying, fine, if we're going to get 4x squared, we only want 2x squared, all we need to do is half it, yeah? Half our answer. So we put half in front, okay? So now, because of this half at the front, you shouldn't be worried about these two being both 2x, okay? Because we're going to half our final answer. Now, the rest of the method says you multiply the coefficient of x squared by the constant. In this case, 2 times 3. That gives us 6. Now, I like this method because it's very similar to the one you probably learnt for normal quadratics without the 2. Okay? You're looking for numbers that add to make this 7. But instead of timesing to make the 3 now, we want to times to make the 6. So we're looking for two numbers that add to make 7, times to make 6. 6 and 1 does a trick. So like the other method, you put plus 6, plus 1. Okay? Now, this is mathematically the same as that. Okay? These two expressions are the same. But obviously, we don't want this half here. So what we need to do is we need to check each bracket. Remember, these are just multiplied. So effectively, if we manage to half this or half this, it'll do the job of getting rid of that half. Okay? So we look at our brackets, and the first one can be halved. And when I say can be halved, I mean both terms in it can be divided by 2 and give a whole number. So 2x divided by 2 is just x. 6 divided by 2 is 3. The other bracket hasn't changed. That stays the same. So with this method, we've done a couple of steps and we've gone from a question to the factorised form. Like I said, you may have done that a slightly different way. There's ways where you put x and 2x in and start guessing. Now my way, the quick trick, works for any brackets, as you'll see in the next three examples that I show you. But let's just test this out. Does it work? x times 2x, 2x squared, x times 1, x, 3 times 2x plus 6x, 3 times 1 plus 3, yeah, we get our 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. So we know we got that right. Factorization is nice because if you can expand brackets, you can always check your work. Moving on to the next question. As you can see, it's a bit more difficult. Because it's a 15x squared, the method says put 15x, 15x. Now I know that's not going to work, so we need to divide by 15 to make it okay. Now we do 15 times 2 is 30, and we're looking for numbers that add to make 13 and times to make 30. And our two numbers that work are 3 and 10. So we put in plus 3, plus 10. This is where it gets a little bit tricky, because you think, right, we've got to divide by 15 to get rid of. 
We can't divide both these by 15. We can't divide both these by 15. Okay? But luckily, divide by 15 or times by 1 over 15, same thing, can be achieved by dividing by 3 and dividing by 5. So can you see that this one we can divide by 3 and this one we can divide by 5. So all together, if we do this, we will have divided by 15 as required. So the first bracket, let's divide by 3, we get 5x plus 1. In the second bracket, when we divide by 5, 15x divided by 5 is 3x, 10 divided by 5 is 2. We get our factorised form 5x plus 1 times by 3x plus 2. And if you expand that, you'll get back to your answer, okay, or your original question. These two things are the same way, are two different ways to write the same algebra, okay? The second one is more useful, which you'll see when you come to solve quadratics. Next question. 6x squared plus 23x plus 20. Now, our method says because there's a 6 here, we put 6x, 6x in both our brackets. But because that isn't going to work, we need to divide by 6. Okay? Now, our two numbers are going to come from um, 6 times 20 is 120, and they have to add to 23. So add to 23 times to make 120. Okay? So let's have a think what's going to work. Um, you're looking for nice numbers with fives and zeros in to multiply to make 120. So you could try 20, but 20 times 3 gives you 60. You could try 15, and 15 times 8 is going to do the trick. Okay? So some are harder than others. You might need to do a bit more working out here. But you can always get these numbers if they factorise. 15, 8. Okay? We have to divide by 6. We can't do it all in one go, but we can divide this by 3, and we can divide this by 2. And all together, that means we've divided by 6, like we wanted to. So, 6x divided by 3, 2x, 15 divided by 3, 5. 6x divided by 2, 3x, 8 divided by 2, 4. There's your answer. 2x plus 5 times 3x plus 4. I hope you like this method because I think it's really, really nice. But just to prove it will work for anything, I made up a horrible example. Notice it's got the negative in as well. Okay, Just to show you, you can factorise just about anything. And if you saw this, you might be thinking you need the quadratic formula, but you don't, okay? I'd always tried this before the quadratic formula. So, let's get on with it. Because it's 15x squared, we go 15x, 15x, okay? Because we've cheated in our little trick, we need to make, make up for it to make it mathematically sound and divide by 15 to make it fair again. 15 times by minus 70, um, well, 10 times 70 is 700, 5 times 70 is 350, and it's a negative, so minus 1050. I told you this one was going to be tricky. That's what we've got to times to, and notice I've taken the minus cross as well, that's important, and I've got to add to 29. Notice my little trick about it ending in a zero. That means that your number's got to end in a five or a zero. Okay? And because it's a negative here, you're going to have one plus number and one negative number. So we need to start thinking about numbers that add and take away together to make 29. Okay? After a bit of trial and error, maybe, of trying different numbers, like obviously you're not going to pick 30, take away 1, so that just gives you minus 30. You could think about 40 and minus 11, 
but now that's not going to be big enough that's going to be minus 440 so you could maybe try 35 45 you could try 50 you could try plus 50 minus 21 you think wow 50 times 20 gives me a thousand 50 times 1 gives me 50 so these two together give us minus 1050 the only hard bit in this method is getting these numbers and I know that that's quite difficult so I've done it quite quickly in my head trying a few different numbers okay so we've got our numbers plus 50 minus 21 okay now we've got to get rid of this divide by 15 and if you get confused about why I'm saying divide by 15 that's because if we're timesing by um, a fraction it's the same as dividing by the denominator of the fraction basically timesing by one of the 15 is the same as dividing by 15 just two different ways to write it we notice we can divide this one by 5 and the second bracket by 3 so let's do it we're going to get 3x plus 10 and we're going to get 5x minus 7 now correct me if I'm wrong but I think that method is awesome that's why I've called it a quick trick because if you learn it you can do this math skill very very well okay I'll be putting some other math tricks on similar to this for you to look out for I hope this has been helpful I hope now you can factorize any quadratic that can be factorized using some basic numeracy skills good luck with your maths thanks for watching